Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to day 2 of 25 cocktails to Christmas. Now, yesterday it was a little bit of a bumpy start, I don't know why I was so nervous, I don't know if you feel that, but however we are ready now and let's start with the second cocktail, day 2, and let's keep them rolling. So if you're ready, let's roll the intro. All right, guys, I hope uh, you enjoyed the orange brulee. And now it's time for another cocktail, which is uh, called Randy, which is a mixture of brandy and port, uh, kind of a make the word Randy. I don't know, it's kind of a sound the same. Anyway, the cocktail I found on DeForce Guide, but I did a little amendment. The reason why is because the cocktail is using uh, absent, and I know. For some of you, it may be not available. Second, it's a quite dear and expensive to buy absent just for a few dashes if you're not using it regularly. So I've changed it to a perno, or you can use any anise liqueur. It's only two dashes, so it's not gonna change uh, any flavor of the cocktail. However, it's gonna give this freshness of the anise in the cocktail, so you can easily replace the absent and just use perno or something more available for you. Before I do the recipe, I need a little sip. Yesterday it started a little bit bumpy, I, I couldn't feel it, uh, I don't know why I feel nervous. Nervous? Nervous? Anyway, pardon my French. Uh, but yeah, things happen. So day two, cheers. Just a little bit to warm up the vocal cord. Mm. Lovely. Let's make the Randy cocktail with the variation. So it's my take on the Randy cocktail, okay? Again, you need a mixing glass. You don't need anything else. Uh, you can mix it in any glass, any pot you have home. Don't worry about it. So first of all, we're gonna start with our brandy or a cognac. This is Saint Remy, it's a sherry cask brandy, but feel free to use your favorite brandy, okay? Or your favorite cognac. So we need 60 ml of the brandy because this is basically the base of the cocktail. Next in the line, guys, it's a port. I'm using Towny port. This is a 2015 uh, vintage port. You can use 10 years old, uh, or of course you can use uh, not aged, but preferably use 10 years old port if you can get one, okay? 30 ml of the port in the mixing glass. Ooh, look at that color. Beautiful. And this is it pretty much. Now, if you find or if you have in your bar uh, absent, two dashes. If you don't, use perno or any anise liqueur uh, so you can supplement the absent if you don't have it. Two dashes. I'm gonna go with a bar spoon Perno, that's always gonna go inside. Two dashes of Angostura, aromatic bitter. If you have any Creole bitter, use it. And finally, seven and a half to 10 ml of the maple syrup. I'm just gonna pop a little bit here. I'll do. There you go. Lovely. Now all you need to do, of course, is give it a little stir, first of all, to dissolve the maple syrup, to give them a little bit chance to mix with the ingredients. And then we're gonna pop some ice to cool it down. We need to chill it nicely. Give it a good stir, good chilling down, and uh, yes, that's another cocktail, it's a slow sipper. So, my suggestion is if you have a nice meal or a dinner around the festive table, this is one for after, to sit down and have a nice chat with friends or family, and just sip slowly and enjoy the warm feeling of the port and the brandy, and the freshness and the sweetness coming from the maple syrup and from the perno. Give it a good chill, good steer. Beautiful. 
Oh, that tastes fantastic. And we're gonna serve it in a lovely small like a balloon old-fashioned glass with a lovely chunk of ice. This is basically when I do clear ice, this is what it's left under the clear ice and I just break in the rocks like that. And I use it as a cocktails, like to stir or even serving cocktails because it's fantastic. It's still a very good clear chunk of ice. It's beautiful for serving. Right. Let's pour our randy in the glass. Oh, look at that beautiful. And for garnish, maraschino cherries. So we need three of them because we have the brandy and the port. They're quite nice, uh, fruity and sweet. The maraschino cherries is gonna work fantastic with this cocktail. I mean, that's what it's recommend the original recipe. And I'm not changing it because I love maraschino cherries. And if you never try them, I would suggest to try them because it's fantastic garnish for cocktails or even just to have them like this as a snack. And this is it, guys. This is our Randy cocktail with trimmer skin on the top. Mmm. Ties fantastically. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. The brandy with the port work absolutely amazing. It's a here in the UK, the brandy and the port, it's a very kind of a festive drink around Christmas and mixing them together, it's absolutely fantastic. And this a little freshness from the perno, just on the back end, it's absolutely beautiful with the sweetness from the maple syrup and this wonderful maraschino, oh, another beautiful festive cocktail, guys. Thank you for watching. And again, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and follow because we keep going with the next how many days now 25 we've done two so 23 days more of cocktails every day for christmas okay stay safe get ready for christmas and once again thank you for watching i love you and i leave you now cheers